here we're trying to show the shroud that we're going to put over the bolts. Uh, this has to be something that can expand from half inch all the way up to three inches. And in it you will see to the right three different pieces of different uh, widths, half inch, one inch, uh, inch and a half, and that is the main uh, 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 tubing. To the left you'll see two other pieces. Those are actually bushings that will interference fit in the inside of the tubes. Now the bushing inserts inside uh, the sleeve and it, it's got a little bit of an interference fit so it will, it will, it will slide down but it, it will interfere as it goes down so it will be a hard slide. Here you can see it inserted but only after we pounded on it a bit. Might take a 2x4 or a little bit of a hammer to tap it down inside, but it's, it's a hard slide in. Assembled, you can see that the two sleeves sit in between uh, the two bushings, and the bushings can be pushed in and out so that they hit different widths. In this case, uh, the gap is 3 inches. Here we are at 2 inches, and you can see that the shroud can spin. I'm spinning it right there. Now we are an inch and a quarter, but we could have been inch and five eighths. We could have been an inch and uh, inch and an eighth. Anything down to one inch there with that bushing sliding in and out. Here we can see the bushing inside a half inch thick piece of tubing, and I've uh, shrunk it down a little bit already. It's down to about uh, three quarters of an inch. And in order to get it to go, that kind of now it's down even farther. And that's what you have to do in order to get the bushing to slide down inside the tubing. And the harder you hit it, the farther it will go. There we are at about three quarters of an inch. So you can see we can go anywhere from a half inch all the way up to three inches. The bushing itself has got an ever so slight taper so that uh, one side actually fits in better than the other side. So that side fits in, you can kind of feel it, but frankly it'll go in both ways. Because it's interference, uh, it, 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 it uh, restricts or restrains itself as it goes down. But that allows it to keep the gaps without somebody being able to pry it uh, either smaller or bigger. So this is what a typical application might look like. Two bushings on one side of, uh, of the main tubing. And um, this allows all the flexibility in the world. You just have to tell me what the right diameter of the bolt is.